Assalamu alaikum, hello and welcome. Today we are going to talk about uh, going the extra mile. What is going the extra mile? Now, <clears throat> an important principle of success in all walks of life and in all occupations is a willingness to go the extra mile, which means the, re the rendering of more and better services than that for which one is paid and giving it in a positive mental attitude. This is a quote from Master Key to Riches by a person known as Napoleon Hill. If you can get time, I recommend you read uh, this book. Not only this book, there is uh, another book called uh, Think and Grow Rich by the same author, Napoleon Hill. So, you know, if you can get just like two weeks, you can complete these books. But the important thing in those books is there are some aspects, there are some secrets in, in these books that once you uncover them, you will come to understand and, uh, the secrets of, of success in, in leadership and in getting, you know, in wealth. Let's, uh, let's continue now about going the extra mile. When you report to work 7 a.m. every morning, Monday to Friday, and leave at 6 every day, what do you think will happen? If you learn more about your customers, their habits, hobbies, and their families, what do you think will happen? And if you call your customers a week or a month after they have purchased an, a product from you to find out their reaction to the product, what do you think will happen? If you ask most successful people in any industry, you know, the, 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 the principle of going the extra mile, they will tell you is, is the only factor, is one of the main factors in attributed to their success. We can learn from nature, look around and see, you know, when you plant a seed, just a one seed of, of maize, one grain of maize, how many do you get when it is time to, to harvest? One planted grain will produce more than 500 grains when you harvest. If you are employed, and going the extra mile presents you the opportunity to grow and climb the leadership ladder. The habit of going the extra mile brings you to the attention of those who can and will provide opportunities for your self-advancement or development. It goes so without saying, all successful entrepreneurs, if you are an entrepreneur, you don't need to be told to go the extra mile. You know, that is a habit you have inculcated in yourself. And that is why you, you are an entrepreneur. Entrepreneurs are not people who someone else pushes them. They, they push themselves to, to be successful. You therefore attract customers in the process and you make more returns and a better profit margins. Now, going the extra mile helps you to grow mentally and develop your skills, which improves your earning capacity. That is straightforward. Going the extra mile protects your employment when businesses are downsizing due to economic, you know, and downturns, like the recession we are in. People are not saying we are in recession, but we are. There is no money circulating, businesses are, you know, in sending people away. These are signs of a recession. Going the extra mile will therefore protect you from, 
you know, being redundant. You will not be redundant if your employer knows you are the type who goes the extra mile. Going the extra mile inculcates positive attitude in your personality by developing the important quality of personal initiative, which is essential in one becoming successful. No one tells you to go the extra mile, but you do it anyway because something tells you to do it. Majority of people, especially those who are in employment, somehow find it difficult to go the extra mile because the reward seems not immediate or instant. In fact, businesses or organizations are short of people who do what they are paid to do, let alone going the extra mile. Why? Because most of the employees are always on the lookout to find out shortcuts or pretend that they are busy going the extra mile, while in the real sense, they are not even doing the required minimum. So you resort to nine to five habit and doing the minimal just to keep your job. You cannot get noticed doing the bare minimum. You are there at work physically but mentally you are wondering somewhere in your thoughts thinking about how your work is difficult and how the day is long and how little pay you get you know sometimes you need to access online government services as i do sometimes it is urgent eg for example you know e-citizen kra if miss something like that Suddenly you realize you have a problem with your username or password. You go to the help desk to resolve the problem and then you find it. There are people who complicate matters even further, you know, instead of helping. I had a problem with my password with one of the government service delivery website. So I went to seek help at this department's help desk. I met a lady at the, at the, at the help desk. I explained the issue to her and she asked me to write a letter explaining what the problem is. So I wrote the letter. I came back with the letter. I came back with the letter, with the letter on a letterhead with an official stamp. I took the letter to the second officer she asked me to deliver to. The second officer looked at the letter. Now, he said, you know, this letter needs to be accompanied with four or five documents. So I asked, what are these documents? He couldn't name them. So he went and sought clarification from another officer. This officer is not at the help desk. So he went inside the office and then after a few five minutes, he, he came back. He said, you know, your letter needs to be accompanied by four documents. It was written at the back of, of the letter. So I asked him, you know, you are at the help desk. This help desk, uh, you need to know this kind of information. You need to, 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 to explain instantly that you come with a letter with four documents and the names of the documents. And if you want and accompanied with a photocopy, you say with a photocopy, you know, of the documents. And instead, someone tells me to come with a letter, stamped letter with official stamp, with a letterhead. I did, I came. And then you people are telling me now, I need to come with another set of documents. You know, you are not helping. He looked at me and told me, you know, Maybe, I don't know. I didn't know. So I had to look for clarification. This, these are some of the problems people face. At any help desk, people need to be trained to know the bare minimum they are there to do. Not, not just to, you know, waste time or do their own things. You know, it is not helping. Now, the main problem in any business or any government department is not the employees, is lack of training. 
an employee who doesn't know what to do will not be motivated to do anything. So the basic requirements of taking someone there is to train them to deliver what you are, why you have taken them there. Now, studies have shown that many employees believe lack of recognition and the poor leadership contribute to their lack of going the extra mile. But the good news is that if you are consistently someone who goes the extra mile, even under poor leadership, someone somewhere will compensate you for your extra mile. To start with, we don't normally see the other benefits of rendering in services apart from in the money returns we gain as profit or, or wages. There is another aspect to it. We become more experienced and knowledgeable in what we do. That is plus the wages we receive or the profit we make. Going the extra mile develops a keen and alert imagination because it is a habit which inspires one continuously to seek new and better ways of, of, of rendering service. Going the extra mile serves to build the confidence of others in your integrity. Your attitude encourages others not to take the shortcut to success. They will learn from you. They see it in you every day. You will find, especially in government departments and the large companies, people giving something in kind to get promotions. Instead of going the extra mile and being an expert in their field, you find someone going behind the doors and giving out something. This is corruption. You will also find people who go the extra mile in the same offices with those who have been promoted through this, 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 this corruption. Now, these ones who have gone the extra mile to learn the trade effectively and efficiently are not rewarded, but they are recognized. Every job, you know, work to be done, give it so-and-so because he knows. Give it so-and-so. The person who came through the back door is just seated there watching doing nothing because he cannot be trusted even to, to bring a pen to, to, to the director. He may just, you know, bring a pen and sharpen the pen, a pencil. You see the problem? You are told if you are the type who goes the extra mile and you find yourself in this kind of situation, keep going because sooner or later opportunities will trail you instead of you following opportunities. People who go the farthest in their career are those who think outside the box and go the extra mile to ensure they do everything they can to make the most out of every opportunity as those who do more learn more. Now <clears throat> Volunteering when extra activities appear, filling up the copier, taking initiative without being told to do this or that, doing these little things for everyone is the beginning of going the extra mile. And, you know, people talk about servant leadership. This is how it starts. But the first to be in the office and be the last to be in the office and see what happens. Never misunderstand going the extra mile to mean neglecting your family or your, your life. You need to give time to your family uh, when you go home. And I mean 100% give your time to your family when you go home. But also when you come to work, don't think about the family. Don't think about friends. Do Focus on what you have to do by going the extra mile. Don't do the bare minimum. Go the extra mile. Now, there is a quote here I want to read for you. It is, it is by Robert Newell. Going the extra mile is providing extra service with the highest possible quality than you are being paid to do. It is more than dotting the I, it is more than crossing the T. 
it is seeking to provide an expectedly positive experience to the receiver. Going the extra mile allows you to leverage your pleasing personality, enthusiasm, and personal initiative as you actively share your self with the environment. Do you seek to delight your family, community, or business associates? If not, you may be missing out on opportunities for instant happiness and future compensation. This is by Robert Newell. If you have gained something from this video, please like, share, and comment below if you have questions or if you have comments and please subscribe thank you for watching